you can get help from teachers but you are going to have to learn a lot by yourself sitting alone in a room with this motivational thought this is miss anupama and you're watching miss anupama's channel so dear friends today this video is all about the exercise of evs1 lesson and lesson number 3 that is a short uh, storage of water okay so this is a textual uh, exercise which is on page number 19 your evs textbook lesson number 3 storage of water okay friends chalo then we'll begin okay so lesson number 3 storage of water and first question a that is answer in short answer in short first question why should we store water the question is why should we store water hame pani kyu sambhal ke rakhna hai store kar ke rakhna hai why okay and uh, here the second question uh, in your textbook it is like a fourth question not second one fourth question that what must be kept in mind while using water so these two questions you are going to write the same answer okay the same answer can be uh, allowed okay you can write down that same answer the question is why should we store water and the fourth question which is on page number 19 of your evs textbook okay evs1 textbook the fourth question says what must be kept in mind while using water okay so these two questions are having one answer only you can learn that okay my dear students chalo we'll begin yes. with that just answer. have a look on the board now the answer we are going to learn and we are going to write now my dear friends whenever you are learning science and history subject question and answers so that time you have to write and learn the answers point wise so it will be very easy for you to remember all the points and it gives a very good impression for the examiner you know, who is correcting your answers so always remember this point okay it's like a tip okay today's tip i gave you so science subject history subject all the answers should be written point wise it looks so attractive also and it gives a good impression also okay so we will begin with the answer now i told you it is answer of the first question as well as the fourth question okay so the first point uh, water is a natural resource okay water is a natural resource i told you when i was explaining the, the lesson okay in my previous videos okay if you have not seen that videos at just i i'll give the link in my description box as well as you can go on the click on the i button from there also you can go to my videos otherwise you can go to my playlist from there also you can watch that videos okay okay it's clear yeah so water is a natural resource means it is not a man made thing okay it is a natural resource nature given gift for human kind water is a natural resource first point water is a natural resource second one along with us okay uh, with, with us means um, uh, mankind we as a mankind all living things use water all year round not only the human being but all the animals all the living things okay they need water all year long why they need because they are also living things so they need water water is life okay without water no living beings can survive okay and the third point in our country okay rainy season lasts nearly only for 3 or 4 months okay 3 or 4 months now there are 12 months in a year if 4 months if we take okay the rainy season is for 4 months then what about the next 8 months from where will get the water i told you in the first point only it's clear that water is a natural resource okay so the water which we get it is from a nature that is rain but only 4 months rain uh, rainy season is there then from for other 8 months from where we have to get the water that is the question but that is the reason we have to store water okay if we do not store water we will face a problem of shortage of water okay now now if water is there okay if there is a quite good rain this year if you don't store that water don't know what will be the future okay next year it will be rain uh, we don't know it will not okay we can't predict about the nature about the weather so it's better to store water today 
so that we will not able to face the problem of shortage of water in future therefore we should store water is that clear so first answer and the fourth answer are having four points okay here you understand and you can write down in your own words also it is not that only you have to learn like this only word to word mugging up it should not be okay science and history if you understand you okay friends have a look on the board now second question what are the traditional ways of storing water in the house traditional ways means olden okay old ways of storing water in the house so in the past the answer first point in the past draw wells okay what draw wells were dug near house to get drinking water means every house okay near every house they used to dug draw wells to get the drinking water and the second point says that the draw wells used to have water all year round so this draw well water okay uh, is having all year round okay so the water will not be depleted okay so the people used to draw wells near their houses draw wells near their houses now the third point says that people used to draw water from draw wells by using a small pot okay it is called pohara try to a tied to a rope okay that pot small pot pohara is tied to a rope and they used to draw water from the draw wells okay and it is this water is used for drinking so these were the traditional ways to storing water in the houses okay understood so there are total three points in this answer understood my dear students now we'll start with the third key my dear friends now we're going to have third question and the third question says that what is a dam built on okay what is a dam built on answer is a dam is built on a river okay on a river a dam is built on a river okay now third after fourth i told you first and fourth question answers are same so i am not giving fourth one here the first uh, question only i gave you the fourth answer also okay now we'll see the fifth question <clears throat> fifth question says that what is water pollution like air pollution okay we have water pollution also so what is water pollution first point a fall in quality of water quality of water is known as water pollution means like uh, in drinking water the water which we use for our uh, purposes in that if any chemicals or any bacteria or any other uh, substances are mixed and that water becomes polluted so the quality of water is decreased okay so the fall in quality of water is known as water pollution okay and the second point waste water okay like waste water from houses factories get mixed in rivers lakes etc this is the reason why the water get polluted what is the reason waste water from houses okay like we wash clothes utensils and uh, our drainage water it mix in rivers and lakes and so the water get polluted this result in water pollution so this is the result in water pollution okay now we'll have next uh, b questions okay. now just have a look here b question and question is how can water be saved in places with water shortage okay when how can water be saved in the places with water shortage and uh, here you have to suggest okay suggest what you can be done what can be done so first answer and first point uh, first is that water can be saved in places with water shortage by following ways okay these are the ways two ways are given filling up big utensils okay big tanks big utensils you can fill 
pots etc and use stored water econo economically economically means by uh, you know uh, hindi mein hum use bolte hai ki bahut kifayati se aapko use karna hai wo pani okay <coughs> sorry use water store economically okay then second point building tanks reservoirs wells etc okay tanks reservoirs and wells to store the water for the future use okay so these are the uh, ways how you can store water when you can uh, save water uh, uh, places with water shortage by following this okay now the last c question is remaining okay, friends now question number c okay so in a question all uh, five 1 2 3 4 5 questions were there then b was one and this is the c is the last uh, question of this exercise okay now the question says which good habits must be inculcated in order to use water economically okay economically ka matlab hota hai kifayati se okay and marathi tun apan tela khup katkasri ni pani vaprayla pahije okay katkasar okay Uh, now the first point here it is asked to you okay so uh, i will not unnecessarily waste water while brushing teeth or taking bath okay now this is the habit of all the children they just stand in front of the mirror and down the tap is open the uh, water is flowing you are brushing you are looking here and there most of the time is wasted there and you are least bothered to see that water is flowing okay so don't do that what you have to do from today onwards i will not unnecessarily waste water while brushing teeth or taking bath okay one bucket is enough but many children they want two buckets three buckets of water to have a bath okay don't do that save water use water economically and the second question i will not waste water while filling jars buckets tanks etc okay when somebody told you to fill the jar or fill the bucket you mostly you are in your own world i know the children are in their own world they are not able to see whether the water is wasting okay the jar is full the bucket is full then to the playing with the water so you have to use water economically okay now the third question or third point i will inform immediately about a leaky tap or leaky bucket to an elderly person okay if you see as a child if you see if any tap is leaking okay leakage is there or any bucket is leakage okay in that water is there and that water is simply wasting like that only so what is your duty you have to inform your elders okay to take that water in some other vessel okay my dear students understood now this is the last question of this exercise okay so please uh, write down in your notebooks and go through with all the answers okay thank you for watching all my videos thank you for liking it please do like share subscribe and tap the bell icon so that you will get the notification of my upcoming videos so stay at home stay happy keep smiling 